Yeah, it's the second season, so it's it's gone well. I'm still learning. Some of the peasants have gone where where I was hoping, and a few have gone where I didn't didn't expect them to go. But we're, we're learning, and this, the tree planting, even though it's not it's a woodland creation scheme, but it's not for the shooting, but it is benefiting right. it, and we're trying to adapt it to benefit it a little bit more. So it benefits everybody. All the woodland. When it's all planted up, it envelopes all the woodland we've got. Right. So we've like tried to make sure everything links, so it's passageways for yes. for um, for yeah. birds like small birds and any migratory yeah. birds all like it being able to link from place to place. And they're all well, predominantly hardwoods, a lot of oak in there. Me and the boss work it out between us what we what we want, obviously with the amount of pheasants put down, you're expecting a certain percentage back. Yeah. Um, we've shot well over 50% this time, which is, I'm, I'm happy with. And is that good for an estate similar to this? 50% is good. Some some of the, some shoots get a lot more. Yeah. Some shoots can shoot up to 60, 70%. Yeah. But then I think some of the shoots shoot less. The circumstances, geography, circumstances where they are, where they can wander from. We've got a certain amount of days I think we can do, of a certain number, 200 bird days, 150 to 200 bird days, sort of like our yeah, that's norm. Yeah, comfortable with that. Yeah, comfortable is yeah, a good word, we're comfortable with it. We yeah. do do the odd 250 bird day, Yeah. and we have had a couple of 300 bird days, but they're just, it's just happened, it's not been a, it's just how it's gone, everything's gone right, and they've probably shot well as well, so. 50-50, like 50% family, the boss, his, his days, um, and then we have a small syndicate, we'll take a few days, but which shoot with the, uh, we're friendly with the boss. Right, okay. And, and then the, the, the days what we have left, we, we let. It's, it just covers a little bit of the cost, because it's not a, running an estate and putting, it's not a cheap, no, cheap no, project. Yeah, well, anything that doesn't work, we'll maybe try it a different way. I might give it a go, another go, if it's yeah. driving, but if something we we can change, it's, it can be after its gun positions sometimes. You yeah. learn where to put the gun positions, yeah. and that, that's learning on different winds, where to move them. So we haven't pegged this time, and it's just solely because I'm still not quite sure where the best place yeah. is for, and in, in what weather conditions. So they might be perfect one day, but the next day, it's completely different, so keep your options open. Keep everybody well. guessing as well. well yeah. We're lucky we have a good team, um, as you've shown. The like, yeah. sort of keepers' day. There's, there's, there's a good camaraderie among, among everybody. Um, they, they think used to me, and I'm used to them now. Yes. So it's quite. And a lot of them will work the, the, the same team. All on different mistakes. They do to a certain degree. You have to have a little bit of flexibility because if we all shot on the same day, we, nobody yeah, yeah. or somebody would end up yeah. having no no beaters. So yeah. you you have you have your own your own people as so yeah. All the, the beating team. That's you're trying to get one or two. For some people, they maybe move away, get an injury or something like that. So you need to have a few people in the pipeline just to step in their shoes. You never know. I might be able to get you beating ground. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're doing a lot of vermin control and then in between we're repairing the pens, even though the pens are still fairly new, yeah. we get damaged through fallen trees, bits of where we pulled some wire up to let pheasants through, we're putting all the wire down, repairing the pens. Mm -hmm. Even wind damage has caused me quite a bit. Of yeah, this time. Yeah, it is. You're always well. I think with any estate, trees yeah. are trees aren't. They're they're always there'll be one blow or, or something happens. So vermin's an essential thing. I think it, uh, running an estate, it's not one. It's a it's a management that you have to manage everything. So it's we are creating a, a good habitat, but it's it's no good having that habitat without controlling the vermin. So the, the main vermin here, I suppose, is, is stoats. We're quite lucky there's next to no foxes in this part of the world. No. Uh, a few, there's a, 
There's a few carrying crows, but not too many. Jackdaws are a big problem. Rats are a big problem. We get a lot of rats coming in. Yeah. Um, but stoats, especially on the moor, is our right. stoats and weasels is a, a, is a, a big problem. And obviously, you're probably aware that the, the trapping laws have changed. Not so much the laws, but the, the fen trap has from next year, fen traps aren't going to be legal for stoats. So there's a lot of people wondering what's coming. There's traps in the pipeline, there's a few been um, passed, but they're pretty expensive. I think deer are, deer are going to be something that's going to have to be closely monitored mm. here. So we're going to have to, um, with a planting scheme like this, it's, it's, a, it's an expensive a um, thing. So we want to look after it. So we're going to have to control the deer numbers, make sure they don't get out of hand. Um, but still, if, if you get like them, get out of hand here, they'll ruin a lot of these trees. As soon as they get out of the tops as well. Yeah. So they'll be, because um, I think we, I can't remember off the top of my head, but nearly 50,000 trees were planted. So, really? Yeah. Is that 50,000 trees for the, for the, throughout the full scheme? The whole scheme yeah. is 50,000 trees, yeah. yeah. Uh, so we've got a, it's going to be a bit like a new sweet shop, isn't it? <laughs> We're going to be, we want, obviously I didn't want them planting when we were still shooting. So, um, they're, they're right in the thick of it now when the weather allows them. They've just, they got, this weekend because of the snow they got put off. But I want it done and dusted by the end of the month. So it'll all be, all, all those 50,000 all this season, that's... Well, no, we had, we had probably 15,000 planted, yeah, yeah. so we're doing, doing the, the, doing the sort of 35,000 this, this time, yeah. Restoration burning, so you're, you're burning ground which maybe it isn't as healthy as it should be. The heather's got to a stage where it's getting degenerate, so you're burning that off, which encourages young growth. But that doesn't it just, it's not just for grouse, but it's also managing the, it's, it's better for the, the peat, it's better for the, for the, um, oh sorry, for generated peat, so it's better for the sphagnum mosses, the grasses. A lot of people try to blame heather burning for, say it's flooding, and heather burning is helping the flood management because it, it, it's dense of vegetation, so it soaks up more, and then hopefully then it'll come down, hit the trees, they'll soak up a little bit more, and it's hopefully it'll, it'll have an impact to the, and help. so I think we've all got to, not just us, but we've all got to work together and try to solve some of these problems. Where we might be able to improve the book lines, give us some more options to drive and, in, and just building some new boats or changing some boats so we're doing that as well we've got we've got a, like a plan to put a new row in this time or upgrade a row anyway um, so we've got that to do and then we've got the reseed to tackle in the summer um, so we've, there's a bit right at the top of the hill right at the top of the hill I don't know if you uh, you can nearly see it there running back out to the yeah. top you can, um, there's no either on it now, but we're reseeding all that. Yeah, sustainability of the state is a big thing. So it's, a lot of these um, projects like the tree planting, the regeneration, it's gonna benefit the next generation, even the generation after that. Because it, I'd like to see it happen, but some of these oaks and whatever, I'm not gonna, no. I might help them grow in years to go. <laughs> But I'm not. It's, so you've, you've got to have that sort of vision to um, in, in forward thinking and vision to see what's going to. It's, it's going to and the tree planting. It's not there just for. It's also going to have flood management, the environment in general. <laughs>